Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to share a consolidated list of some programming related books that you can refer to if you are a beginner, you want to learn different programming languages or you're someone who is currently preparing for their preschools or even if you're already into the industry and know these languages and concepts by heart, these books are some of the best by far to have there in your house library just to refer at the 11th hour. So without any further ado, I'm going to dive into this video and share my list of books with you. These are the books which I was actually recommended from my professors and mentors back in engineering days and I personally swear by these books now. So now I have kept segregated these books into 3-4 different sections. First of all, we are going to talk about the books you can refer to if you want to learn any particular programming language. And then in the second category, we are going to discuss about the books here, which are going to teach you a lot about data structure and algorithms. Then we'll talk about system design. And lastly, we'll talk about one book that you can use to master your logical building ability. So if you're someone who is right now in your first semester or first year of engineering and you want to learn C or C++ programming language, then I recommend two books. So these two books are Let Us See and Let Us See Plus Plus by Yashwan Kalikar. Both these books were written on a very beginner friendly basis. You will find a lot of theory in the, these two books because they want to explain you how programming actually functions. They are going to explain you every single concept and I can you know assure you this one thing, if you refer to these two books, every single concept that you want to learn as a beginner when you're trying to learn one programming language is going to be crystal clear. So definitely do check out these two books if you want to learn C or C++ programming language. Now let's talk about some books for Java programming language. Now there is one writer called Sumita Arora. A lot of her books are usually recommended by CBSC both and ICSE both in 11, 10 plus 2. So she is one brilliant writer. The concept that she teaches in her book is very much similar to how we used to learn concepts till our 10th class, right? Every single chapter is broken down like that. You have a lot of theory, concepts are being explained. Then what they tell you is some examples, then some solve exercises, and then finally some exercises for you to do, but the answers are given at the back of the book. So this pattern is something which we are quite familiar with. As an Indian student, we have done this all of our lives. And it becomes very easy for us to learn new programming concepts. So there is one book by her called Computer Science with Python for Class Plus 2. You can definitely check this book out if you want to do Python language. There is one book by All Sweekert called Automate the Boring Stuff with Python. So try to google this name out. You will be able to find one ebook as well. Now if you want to learn Python closest to its official documentation, this is one precise book for you. Also for Java, if you want to do, you can refer to two books. One is called Java for Dummies or Java, the complete reference. Now always try to follow the latest edition of whichever book you're trying to refer to. In this case, you can try to refer to 11th edition as well. Now apart from these, I want to talk about the books which you want to refer if you want to master data science and algorithm. So first of all, if you're someone who has a lot of Java background, you do programming in Java language, then there is a book called Algorithms by Segwick, one of the best book by far for Java program. You get to know and learn about every single algorithm, but written and explained to you in Java programming language. So it becomes very much easier for us to grasp the concepts. Apart from this, if you're someone who is coming from a C++ background, then if you're looking for some good DSA books, there is one book called Data Structures and Algorithms Made Easy. Now again, this is one book which puts a smile on my face. I have done this book in my second year of college since I was coming from a C++ background. And this is one amazing book. You don't really have to hustle. You don't really have to check here and there for understanding concepts. It explains everything beautifully by the help of one programming language that you already are familiar with. Now, if you're looking for a book to understand more deeply about algorithms, you want to understand where they got derived from and what is their, you know, actual uh, inception, then there are two books that I want to suggest. One is a bit easier and a book which can be understood by all. Again, one of the most famous books out there. It is called Grokking's Algorithms. Now, Grokking is a name which is very famous in our programming world. There are many good resources by Grokking when it comes to system design and for algorithms as well. Finally, you know, last but not the least for DSA plus one of the most eminent books. You can almost call it the Holy Bible for us the programmers is a book called Introduction to Algorithms by Thomas Corbin. 
Yes, I know a lot of you might have heard of this book already. It is this thicker book, but then I tell you one thing about it. It will not be super easy to understand. It will not be super easy to grasp at the first read. You might find it very difficult. Also, I don't suggest it to everybody because not everyone is so well versed with you know derivations and mathematical derivations of algorithms that they find this book easy and relevant for them to learn from but if you're someone who wants to understand where these algorithms have actually come from how they got derived what is their mathematical inception then definitely check out this book it is one of the best test books available when it comes to computer science and programming now let's talk about one book that you can refer to if you want to develop system design understanding ever since we take admission in engineering we are taught to think of every single problem very logically the moment we see the problem statement we start thinking about test cases we start thinking about how to solve that problem using some data structure or algorithm we never think of putting up a solution which is scalable in nature right what is the cost associated to it how to minimize it right so you have to develop this mindset first in order to develop this mindset there is one best book that i can suggest it is called head first object oriented analysis and design there are a lot of head first books i highly recommend going for a head first book if you want to do design patterns you're someone who is into java you you want to understand java design patterns or design patterns in general also this is one of the best books available now lastly uh, i want to share a book with you which you can actually solve as a fast time we used to do it back in college and it is one of the best books that you can refer to if you want to enhance your logical building ability this is a book by one of our greatest indian mathematicians shakuntala devi and this book is called puzzles to puzzle you a lot of you might have done this in your first or second year of college if not i would highly recommend getting your hands on it you can find one ebook available online very easily geek for geeks is there you can do a lot of puzzles from geek for geeks but then some people are still there who want to learn things in the proper old school way you like solving sudoku still on newspapers and this is the one for you i always have this book with me i still have it somewhere in my house library this is this small book but then one amazing book having some basic puzzles puzzles to some very complex puzzles some mathematical puzzles and some analytical ones so i think this is the best book which you want to refer to if you want to develop solving puzzles random solving puzzles on the go in an interview i'm going to come up with a lot of videos which are going to be quite helpful to you if you want to make a switch to your dream company no matter if you are in college right now or you are already in some company So do subscribe to this channel share this video with the people you think might get benefited out of it and i'll see you all in the next video take care till then bye bye